Okay guys, so here we are, part one of the reveals for the My Happy Valentine loaded altered case handmade card and treat swap. I think that's everything. Um, this is what I did. You guys have already seen it, so I go through my uh, thing really quickly. I'll just go uh, off the top of my head the rules. I don't remember exactly 100% everything right now off the top of my head, but, you know, I did it <laughs> a few weeks ago. But, uh... Basically, the participants for this one are going to include the case that came from the Dollar Tree. Again, there's not a lot of people because I already knew this case was out. It's just that I knew people still had them and they still wanted to do something with them, so I offered this one last swap. And um, again, altered case with at least three or more embellishments on the top, a handmade card with at least three or more embellishments other than just your base layer, and a treat, whatever that is, that's not too bulky, that won't fit in the bag, but that, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. That's whatever you like. Um, uh, and what else was I going to say? And then on the inside, so there aren't a lot of rules other than, you know, those certain things. On the inside, it had to be very Valentine's, guys. I said screaming Valentine's, so I know some people threw in some things that weren't so much Valentine. So, unfortunately, because I am filming this whenever I feel like I've already started with the reveals because they're coming in. So, um, another thing a lot of people did was put shaker mixes down in here, and I specifically asked to not put shaker mixes down in here, because that's something you are putting your spin on, right? You're mixing it the way you like it. And the whole point of the things down here is that it appeals to everyone with whatever project they're going to do, you know, they can find something to match, instead of now I have to match the shaker mix, you know what I'm saying? So the whole four top areas are your row to put your spin on to do it the way you like, and show what you can do. So if you had a shaker mix, it should have gone up here, and there were like literally six, seven people who put them all down here and then there was you know four or five six people who put them up here like I said so uh, I said what I said and I gotta stick to it guys so um I think that was mostly the biggest rule breaking that I've seen. I, you know, most people made things that would fit and that's great and all that kind of stuff so I will still swap them out I'm not because when I had put the swap up for uh, to, to begin it, I didn't say hard and fast like I, it will not be swapped if it breaks rules and I don't want people to feel like oh she changed that on me you know because Obviously, we all want to do our best, and some things happen. Um, you know, another thing I said, don't just make a bunch of uh, die cuts and just put them in here that are, like, single layer, because, like, nobody needs a hundred of a single layer thing. They need a few of layered up things, things that took a little more time, right, that had some different pizzazz to it. And um, a few people did that to just cut up a bunch of them, and maybe they put them in here. Maybe they had some other ones that were fine, but then, like, why did they just do, like, why did they just do what they're supposed to do? You know? It happens, guys. I don't know. Um... So that was another one of the broken rules I saw quite a bit of. But anyway, so four handmade things here. If you're doing just die cuts, they need to be layered at least two layers of thing or more. Um, and then eight uh, store-bought items. And so, you know, you guys already seen mine. I made like a little envelope. It came with like a little card to go with it that had a little heart hand. Uh, I'm not going to... And then down under there, actually, there's some other die cuts that I had made. Um, I, don't, I think it has to do with these heart and lockets. I don't remember exactly because that, that was the best place for them to fit. Or maybe I moved them over here. No, I still see them. Oh, it's the little birds. Those birds with the little heart, like love note. And they're layered up. And then, of course, I made some rosettes again more than just you know with the roses i didn't say they had to be dressed up in this one that's a rule for a different swap so don't get yourself mixed up either but i am saying <laughs> for this one this is how i made my rosette with a couple little extra things right uh really sweet i made a little banner that said love with little hearts i made these little cameos that i am just in love with they came out really cute there's a couple of those a uh, bow that's already layered up not just flat pieces they're already done and then down in here there's all those die cuts that are layered up that make heart and uh, lockets or locks, heart locks, I guess, and keys are in there. Again, layered up. And here's a bead mix. Um, so when I say a bead mix, it doesn't mean like someone's, I guess this is what I'm going to say about this. This is different than a shaker mix. These are big things. That doesn't mean the person, you cannot, like, honestly, you're going to take apart a shaker mix. Probably not, right? So whenever it's something like this, that's fine. Just shaker mixes are already, like, mixed and done to your liking. So it should have been separate things. And some people did include separate things that are different glitter spangles separately, which is nice. Um, so again, little hearts. Uh, I have these ones that look like cracked, like, marbly kind of gemstone type things. You guys saw everything I put in here. I think these might be different because I had to look for them. I had bought them, but I forgot to <laughs> show them in the video. Uh, so they're in there. All the same things you saw me put in here. Red, gold, and 
pink, I think, um, flat rhinestones, um, some ribbons, I just rolled them around, there's some wood veneer stickers, there's die cuts from Hobby Lobby, pink and red mulberry flowers, some table scatter that's like the cute little conversation hearts, the little ladybugs that are super adorable, um, hearts here, gnomes, and, uh, in the back there I have um, donut looking stickers that are very like Valentine related and then we have the cute little um, uh, wood veneers um, which I think are adorable. How cute would it be to put a little love bug on there? Oh my gosh, so cute. So uh, some wood veneers and that is mine. So um, a ton of things on top of course like I said three or more. I've already gone through all these things uh, and in here I made that little altered embellished Sorry, over getting tongue-tied <laughs> um i made an altered button i keep calling it a paper clip i don't know why and i was like you know what? i'll just edit that so anyway some fuzzy socks and then that little set of stamps that is really cute so that all goes with mine and i will wrap it up and that is that you guys so what we're gonna do is jump right into it again Please don't get upset if you don't see your uh, swap in here. You're in good company, and I'm still swap you out. But this is this and the clipboard swap. I think I launched this and the clipboard swap before. I was like, you guys, if you break the rules, <laughs> it's not gonna be swapped. So um, I guess those two will slide, but uh, the rest of them will not be swapped out, guys. It's just we gotta stick to the rules. I don't know. I, and some people hear it, and some people don't. And I ask you guys, please, please, please watch the videos front and back and listen to them and you know the guidelines are just like a little synopsis of what's in there but most of the bulk of the information is in the video so uh, as far as the shaker mix I know I specifically said and I can even put it in the description box if you guys really care to see where I said I know I'll get this question and it'll be uh, what if I want to make a shaker mix and I said the shaker mix needs to go up on the top of the handmade items and why so um, yeah I don't know what happened all right Let's hop to it, guys. Hey guys. So first up, I have a swap from Melissa Sochi, probably, S-O-C-C-I, out of Sawyersville, Pennsylvania. And it is her first time with us, so that she had cases, or if at least found them again, they were not available anymore at Dollar Tree. Uh, she has one on top for me, and then she has two others here, and so I'm just going to open up. They look super cute. Um, just going to open up the one she sent for me, since they're covered anyhow, so you can't see them. Really? this guy up. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. I'm sad to see this one go. Again, we'll do some other, well, I don't know if I talk about that, but we'll do some other thing else with like the other cases they still have at the Dollar Tree. Generally that smaller one that we use for the beading, the bead swap. Um, okay, this is her postage. Thank you for letting me participate, of course. They're all the same. The acrylic pieces have protective masking on them, just removed before you use. Oh, let's see what that means. So cute, just to open it up uh, right on top because I have it kind of upside down, I believe she has. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you so much. The cutest ribbon, and it's like uh, embedded, the little heart and the little like dashes on the side, the little kind of pulling through there. Really adorable. A cute pen with a little vinyl heart. <laughs> Um, and here we have, oh, some pop sequins. Oh, these are so cool. That's what I'm always asking because people have all this cool like table scatter and type things and I'm like, where are you getting them? Super cool. So pop is from Joanne, I believe, um, that brand. Cute, thank you so much. And this is her handmade card. Again, not keeping me guessing. We got three or more embellishments. Uh, the cute paper, again, it looks like the Michaels paper. So she got hers early. I know I just got mine, so um, did it, you know, used it in a different swap. Super cute, she has like two different papers here. Here, a little band with some rhinestones, doily covered with a couple of different layers of gorgeous papers like pearlescent and gold paper, the little um, bow all glittery, and then some uh, hearts coming down cascading this way. How cute are those? Those simple little resin bows. Super cute. Hello love in the bottom corner. Adorable. Looks like it's a five by seven. And this is her case. Really sweet. Uh, a lot of the same colorway, like what's going on with her card. Here she has these little um, trio of flowers, the XOXO chipboard. There's like rhinestone in the corners, different layers of paper. As you can see, this one's elevated. Um, this kind of uh, chipboard, kind of, or maybe wood veneer type hearts that are colored and shimmered. And then, I mean, there's a doily back there, a heart here, different layers of paper again. Really, really sweet. Sorry, I thought I heard my son. I think I still hear him. <laughs> anyway, so let's open this up. Really, really adorable looking in here, seeing all this gorgeousness. So, 
Very cool. Okay, what I see is right here on top are her four handmade items, and that means acrylic. Like she said, some of these pieces are acrylic. Look at this. She has one of those awesome machines that cuts acrylic. So she has um, this guy. And as you can see, you have to peel this piece off. That's why it looks a little bit like dull. So she has the different hearts and like solid ones and um, open hearts. Oh my gosh. And just a generous, super generous amount of them in different colors. Super cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. These are like, again, um, resin or acrylic pieces. So you're going to peel that off, I believe. I don't know if, it, yeah, off the back. Probably the front too. I'm not 100% on that. Um, look at that. And they're like acrylic and then she has some resin or some, not resin, but yeah, yeah. Oh no, it is resin or something like that or acrylic again. <laughs> These are so cool. So like this one says love and you can see hope it's like red glitter. <gasps> Fancy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And then different, you know, double hearts and things in here. Wow. And then she put, so they had a little hole so you can, um, use them however you like. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you right now, um, so these kind of machines, like they laser cut, I guess, or like wood, and I can smell like the little like machining kind of like smell of it, and it smells good. <laughs> so I'll tell you, uh, I enjoy that. That's so cool. Look at these little baby rosettes, and look at the sweetest I heart you, the little like cute um, fibers behind there, and the little gold heart. My goodness, that is adorable and tiny. Oh my gosh, look at the one down here. Oh my goodness, <gasps> Melissa, she's a master at this. Look at this, and that I'm assuming is kind of what's going on down here once you peel the acrylic off, <gasps> the little carrier. That is amazing. It's so crystal and so pretty. Thank you so much. Just gorgeous. And then here she has some handmade um, rosettes that are like heart shape. How cute are those? I definitely want to try that out this time, uh, die cutting, like after you do your rosette, like with um, uh, crepe paper or streamer, and then you die cut it. And look how cute that is, and she encrusted him with like um, glitter. These are adorable. Cute little center popped up. Gorgeous colors, really fun. Thank you so much, oh my goodness. And here she has some puffy stickers, or like applique type stickers. I've seen these, but I'm not sure. I, I think you have to glue them down, right? Super cute, different uh, hearts and then some stars. And here she has some gumball beads. Again, those cool ones that are like super encrusted with like rhinestones. There's some silver spacer beads, a really cute pink and white kind of swirled beads. And here we have lots of little half hearts, which are really adorable. I mean, you can definitely pop those on here and there everywhere. <laughs> All your projects, really cute. These are some little um, adornment or embellishment pieces. As you can see, there's some cute like ruffles with a little rhinestone in the center. And then here she has, I love these kind of puff beads because that's how they're made, they're beads, see? And they're like puffy and a little, like, kind of like a whisper of eyelash uh, coming out of them. So cute. Um, oh, look at this guy. Very cool. Oh my gosh. It has a really cool, like, pink center, but it's so frosty so you can barely see the little center. It's really lovely. Look at little cassette tapes, little charms, be mine, conversation hearts. Really adorable. And here she has... Um, Look at these guys, they're like resin pieces that are full uh, with little stars, little heart shapes. There's like these flat back um, like button cabochon type things. I see some other ones that are like clear like these little guys. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. And here she has some clippies and some binder clips and it looks like some larger binder clips and look at these, oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I love the shape of those, how fun. So paper clips and fun shapes. And again, very Valentine colors. And then here she has all kinds of bits that are like uh, to help you top off your cards or projects. So like these glittery um, faceted centers. And then we have like little tiny pearls. Oh, I love these. Look at the spell binders, like those chunky ones. Really, really cute. Some larger sizes down there. And then some of these blue ones. My goodness, Melissa, thank you so much. I mean, this is, you got it, girl. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much. Thanks for including one for me and thanks for joining us. And wow. Okay, so I'm going to put this, uh, wrap it back up and I will be back. Swap from Jennifer Lance out of Mount Union, Pennsylvania. And she has a few things here. So those are her two swap cases. I'll put this one to the side because obviously it's all wrapped up. And then we'll open the other one up. Oh, so thanks for joining us, Jennifer. I think, was it this one or the next one? I have like four Jennifers and one of my other swaps. 
It might be this one too, I don't quite recall. But she has a little note up here with her postage. Oh, look at this trim. I love it. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, so how sweet. What might be the card she includes in the other one. We'll see. Um, just gorgeous. I love the Happy Valentine's Day on top. The different layers of paper, the shaker, and then even dots all around that. Look how pretty her shaker mix is in there. And then here she has like her little flowers that are all layered up. I mean, just so lovely. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And then the little stickers. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> these are so cute. I'm totally smitten with these. Thank you so much. So she includes some fun things there for me. And she has that cool um, washi also with like the little hearts. I got set of her packaging here. this up and again there is that beautiful card just a ton of layers I mean look at the flowers you guys just layered up formed cute little centers and then here she included um, the again that heart lace that is just gorgeous and then a pack of those stickers which are really fun you lucky to get those because they are uh, hard to find there at the uh, Dollar Tree. Super cute. So she decorated this super girly. I mean, look at the little ruffle all around, the little swan on top. I mean, there's beautiful papers. There's like half hearts here, layered up kind of like bows. Oh my gosh. The mix here with the cute little heart lockets. Oh my goodness. Just lovely. Hello, a paper ribbon. <laughs> She's got everything going on. So cute. Even has feathers, the little swan. Really, really lovely. And when you open this up, oh, it just looks so gorgeous. Look at this. The back side of the paper. I mean, super Valentine. Um, so here she has, look at these guys. They're like those little bottle cap um, type things, but they're gorgeous with the uh, different rhinestones there. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And she made several. Look at there's the bottle cap types. Oh, such pretty colors. Oh my goodness. Really pretty. And then here she has her shaker mix included here super cute very just adorable it's what's in there she has like open hearts and like sequins and like femo like sprinkles uh, i see like little tiny red and pink um like really really small little balls i don't know if you see them there and then like um really soft pastel colored beads and she included like several different packs of that and then also with that same what you see out here with the little lockets and everything or locks in there super cute look at all these handmade tassels you guys oh my goodness gorgeous colors super valentine just really sweet and just like pristine perfect and then here she has Ooh, what do we have here a dangle oh my gosh gorgeous beaded dangle here put it on your journals or whatever it is that you like look at that i mean there's just like um i don't say wire wrap but they're like stacked beads here super cute oh my goodness just lovely thank you so much i mean look at these little <laughs> i love this one here with the pink little um hearts on it and this little glow bead filled with some pink um, glitters or beads really cute and here she has some her store-bought items which are like these little red and pink uh, bows and like this little i was gonna say resin but you know what it's like uh, on felt that's interesting super cute with the little rhinestones on there mulberry flowers in red and pink uh, tons of those of each uh, color the half hearts again that little gingham check and little plaid and then the little fuzzy ones that is adorable i think this goes over here um here she has some different um look at this oh my gosh little twin star is that who this one is uh shaker <laughs> super cute lots of different charms in here um that are just adorable um, little puff heart, not puff heart, that was over here. A little puff ball there and lots of cute, look at this donut. Oh my gosh, just amazing, super well curated, everything and there's like pink and lovely. And over here she has all kinds of um, half uh, hearts, like acrylic pieces, really, really cute colors. Um, and then here she has those uh, crunchy kind of um, stickers, they have like that glitter, Ooh, there you go, that crunchiness so cute so tons of those cut up for you there's some little like half hearts in here really adorable and then we have the little gnome stickers that are just super cute so she included several of them and some glitter hearts in the back that you can see there and then here are some little glittery foam hearts how cute are those oh my gosh i love the way they feel so there's like pink and red and silver ones in there maybe some fuchsia ones Super adorable. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for curating this so nicely. It just looks really, really fun and adorable. Thank you so much. Okay, 
keep going. This next one is from Michelle Quinn out of, hold on, <laughs> Niles, Michigan. And she has packaged up a couple different bags, so I'm just going to take this guy out. She has her postage here. Uh, I'll put it back in here. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thanks for joining us again. This one kind of wants to come away anyway, so I'll open that guy up. And she has two here with a cute little uh, gnome bag. Adorable. Oh, her card is so cute. Okay. So she included as um, her gifts, oh, these milk chocolate pretzel, pretzel rods. Is it pretzel? So good. These are so yummy. And then a pair of socks with a little fuzzy nose. <laughs> Those are so cute. Love the theme already. Going through everything here. Let's open this little guy up. And I will flip that over. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> So this is her card, a cute little heart doily on there with some like glittering, she has a little heart, she has a layered up um, uh, gnome there with all, look at the little like bow and arrow and everything, oh my gosh, just adorable. Thank you so much, thanks for joining us again and you know, not making me guess at what you have on there on your card, so cute. So then she decorated her case with a little heart trim and there's some different layers here with the um, uh, tool. I don't know why I keep forgetting the word tool today. <laughs> and then this, the chunky shaker mix in there that's so cute with like half pearls and different kinds of sequins. And then she has like a heart doily with some little rhinestone hearts. And then those little gnomes from uh, Hobby Lobby, super cute. Oh, at the bottom she also has some rhinestone trim. That is a really cute way of using that stuff. So let's open this up. Okay, so it looks like this little guy might have come from up here? I don't know because there's nothing else that looks like this. <laughs> um, we'll just put him up here. I had a feeling he was stuck on here somewhere to be cute, you know? Okay, so in here she has some little um, layered up flowers. They have like a little center and a little pearl and very valentine -y colors. Look how pretty this paper is. Let's go back a second. Um, and then here she has like a shaker mix. Again, handmade items and then store-bought items down here. Um, super sweet. There's uh, basically the same thing she has on in her shaker there. So I see like half pearls. I see um, different sequins, um, different colors. Super cute. Very, very pretty. And here she has, oh, some little charms, you guys. How cute are those she put together for you in rainbow order? The little hearts. This one has like pearls and hearts. This one says happy and love. Those are so cute. XOXO. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Thank you so much. And then here she has some rolled flowers and she kept them safe and separate. So this one's rolled up and it has a little glitter on there. This one has uh, different layers at the, the, the base layer there with the little rolled flower. Super, super pretty, and this one's more of a different kind of stylized little puff. Really, really pretty. And here she gave you guys some washi samples, so uh, to fit it in there, she put them on a roll. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the roll, she put them on this guy. And then here we have some little heart rhinestones, and it looks like some kind of like embellishment stickers in the background. And here she has a ton of like Heishi beads, and like these really cool crystal beads that are kind of like squished. I think that's the way you that's the um, term for it, squished. And then <laughs> the professional's term for it. Um, some like blueberry beads or whatever they call those kind of raspberry beads. I guess raspberry is what I'm looking for. Uh, cute crackle beads, lots of pink and white uh, beads in there, really lovely. Here she has this cool trim. I picked this up, up at Hobby Lobby myself. And it has like um, heart veneers and beads and then the twine that's like red and white. Ooh, doo, doo. Let's pop that back in there. And here she has some little puffs. <laughs> All kinds of valentiney colors, really sweet. Here she has the little uh, white uh, beads, the red hearts, and then handmade with love charm. Uh, little clippies that you can alter. Tons of wood uh, veneers. The heart shapes, also from Hobby Lobby that I recall. Pink and white pearls. Lots of them, just lovely. Some ribbon uh, samples there. Some pink ribbon with the cutest little gnomes. <laughs> and then the little heart one. And then some, uh, like, little... Um, uh, it's flower trim. What do they call these? Like notions? When they're the, like the kind from the sewing section? I think that's what they're called. Really, really cute. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us again. I'm going to package this back up and I will be right back. From Lisa Becker out of Emmett, Idaho. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Looks really fun and festive just looking down in there. There's one on top there with my name on it. There is. Let me see what's going on. Yane, this is. This one is yours, the heart bag, the two other boxes are the same as yours. Just some treats for your kids. Oh. <laughs> so she has some 
conversation hearts with the junior mints, which are so yummy. I love those junior mints. They're super cute. And then here she has her other swaps, so you can take a peek. Okay. And so I'll put this guy over here. And we'll open these guys up. Look at the little cut apart. It's really cute. Put that on there. Super cute with a little clippy. And here we have, oh my gosh, the cutest little purse. I was gonna say, I think it holds a <laughs> lip gloss or a chapstick. Look at that. So cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Some lint chocolates. Thank you so much. Those are so yummy. Little um, package. This one, of course, is for me, so it might be a little different. So she has her postage in there, a little note that I'll read to myself later. Little tag in here. There's some washi in here. This is so cute. I love the color pink on that. It's like really kind of bright. Oh, another one of my favorite things, you guys. The marshmallow hearts, and this one has to be strawberry cream. Love it. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is her swap. So let's get this guy open. Thank you so much for including one for me. That's really sweet. Thank you. Um, look how cute it's packaged. Again, with this swap, you know, you can do a little more because it's a hard case, right? So um, with the loaded pockets, like, I don't want them to be smashed because it, honestly, it's like, oh, it hurts my heart when I, I see one smash that showed up or when it goes to the next person, if they get it smashed, like, that's not fun. So those I'm more careful with as far as your decorations and all that. Heart is Velcro on. Okay, we will see what that means. <laughs> Let's open this guy up. How cute. Oh my gosh, this is definitely decorated to the max. This is her handmade card with a handmade envelope. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like, is it a trifold? Or maybe she's, um, can't tell. Yeah, so there's just a lot going on here with the different uh, die cuts. I love you over here. And on the front, she has um, the inlay die cut, the glitter paper in the back, all these cute little hearts, and then a layered up flower, or uh, flower, layered up heart. <laughs> Really, really cute. Thank you so much. And then this is like the outer packaging for this guy. And I am not going to tear this, I hope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at the little key. Oh my gosh, I love it. It has like weight to it too. So it's like, I don't know if it's metal or what's going on, but that's so cute. It's a little wrapping. And then this is her case itself. And so she has tons of hearts on here, as you can see. I, th I think this one, there we go. I was like, I'm missing one. The background paper, tons of hearts, that beautiful um, heart from uh, Diamond Press layered with a heart behind it, Nouveau Drops, um, heart, puffy heart stickers, and look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, it's like a flower made of hearts. And trim all around the bottom too. Edge. Cute. Thank you so much, Lisa. Let me open this guy up. And up here we have our handmade items and then the store-bought items. So um, up here she has these uh, little clippies that she decorated all with all kinds of gems and puffy heart stickers or like the foam heart stickers. Oh my gosh, these are decked out and they're red and white um, bases on the clippies. Super cute. Look at these die cuts. Again, that's all I ask you guys to do is layer them up and she layered them up. <laughs> There's uh, quite a few here of the pink hearts, uh, red hearts and the little like polka dotted hearts on top. So tons of them are just layered up that way so they look like they're echoing. And she did tons of those. Up here she has a shaker mix and her shaker mix looks like there's red heart scatters, there's like little flowers, there's little sequins, uh, larger sequins. I see mostly things are red, pink, and purple in there. Really cute, I love that little square. And then the same kind of flower that she put up here, I'm not gonna pull it out of there. She uh, included a few of those right here, handmade flowers there. I'll put that back to the side. And here we have some table scatter. Um, again, you know, open hearts, closed hearts, and all that kind of stuff. And here she has um, uh, the little uh, ladybugs and bees. And oh my gosh, some of them are like resin pieces, and some of them are like the little wood pieces. They're so cute. Some more kind of um, half. Oh, wait, I was gonna say table scatter. No, these are different. Uh, look at these. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love the way they have that silver in the back because that's what makes them reflect really awesome. So pink and red flat back rhinestones. Some charms here, metal alloy charms, there's like wing charms, there's those little <laughs> blackberry or however charm or beads. Um, crackle beads, just a lot of gorgeousness, some gumball beads, everything's like pink, white, gold, really, really valentiny. 
Here we have some mulberry flowers in white and pink that are just so adorable. Tons of stickers here. Uh, as you can see, I, I love this kind of thing because I'm telling you, just pop that on a ruffle, pop that on your rosette, pop that wherever it is on your card. They look so cute. So lots of words and gifts and things like that. They're all Valentine-y. And then here she has some clippies. Oh, the heart clips. Gorgeous. Paper clips. And then let's see what this one is. I would say it looks like a camera shape, maybe? The camera ones are so cute. Yes, yeah, a little camera shape. And then she has pink glitter in there. And then over here we have um, some wood veneers. Some heart-shaped wood veneers. Really, really nice. So thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. And um, thanks for including one for me. I'm going to package this back up and I'll be right back. rolling along. This one's from Lisa Gerber. So we just had another Lisa, but that's all right. I think I have several Lisas in this one too. Lisas and Jennifers. I know sometimes I'll have three or four Rondas even. So it's kind of interesting. Or was Michelle the other one? There's a new name that I was like getting a several of. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me put this aside. And Lisa's out of South Plainfield, New Jersey. Um, so I believe these are her. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I love the little Cupid still. Honestly, that was one of the cutest things. I think I did this on the Cricut. I love him. Still love him. So um, she has something here for me. And then here she has a novelty pen. And oh, the Jelly Bellies conversation beans. Oh my gosh. Where did you find these? Super cute. So that was her um, treat, as you can see. And then we'll talk about this in just a minute. Thanks for joining us again, Lisa. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Look how cute. Her beautiful card Oop. <laughs> with the happy Valentine's Day and the doily and the little bow on there. And she has a little uh, postage there for me. Thank you so much. Some extra. Super appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'll put that over here. So uh, let's just open one of these guys up again. I don't want to destroy this, but it may have to happen. Uh, maybe I should. Oh, so how do I not destroy those stickers? I can cut it, and then I guess I'll just put some tape. I don't know. Guys, sorry, I don't know. Because I know if I tear those stickers, then that's it. But maybe the person wants to reuse them. I don't know. <laughs> so I will not do that. This is her card, 5x7, uh, pink card base, uh, beautiful background paper, the Happy Valentine's Day that's layered up. She has the different um, rhinestone hearts on there, and the little small ones here, and then the little Cupid. He is adorable. My goodness, love them. And then as you can see here, she has her shaker topper on her beautiful box here with the um, heart trim, pretty papers, doilies, lots of love, chipboard, hearts here, and glitter hearts, and then the shaker that is so cute. Oh my gosh, and I love the way she just decked it out with all the different um, little hearts. I definitely need something like that, that is so cute. Thank you. And I'll open this up. Oh, it's all Valentine, just screaming Valentine. Look at this. So these are her handmade items up here. She has a little uh, scalloped heart with those. How did, oh my gosh, if this is on a Cricut, I cannot even, because look how thin that is. <gasps> so cute, the little um, cherub or angel there with his little arrow and tons of those. And she has these hearts with a little um, bow on top. And I think this one, his little, yeah, I was going to say his little, uh, Oh, it was really on there. <laughs> Hold on, his little um, center popped off there. Let's just pop that back on. And so she has several of those with the cutest papers. Really adorable. Here she has these little like inchies that say love. Oh, it's that cool stylized love. And then she put a little heart, uh, rhin or not rhinestone, but like resin piece in, in, instead of the O. Super cute. Again, layered up. That's all I'm asking for, guys. Layering on those. And look at this. This reminds me of Laverne and Shirley for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's the style of the L. Love. And then she has it with the background. I mean, she had to set each one of those things. Wow. And this one has a heart background on them, too. So cute. I'll put that back on there. And here she has all these... Um, rhinestone hearts they're like purples and pinks and light pinks really really cute some beautiful lace i'm assuming it's the same lace from out here because that's what it looks like and here she has um, those same die cut pieces that i had picked up at hobby lobby just lovely um, those are really fun because they're different shapes they're not like perfect hearts some of them are and some are more stylized so really cool with the gold trim and then your wood veneer pieces looks so cute um, and here's just like little ephemera bits there's like um, these uh, stickers or foam stickers that say like love 
so cute those are really cute ephemera and here she has look at these I love them you can pop the little heart out then you can use the heart and you can use the other portion so there's tons of those um, and here she has those chunky uh, glitter hearts um, I see some table scatter in there a beautiful mulberry flower the little gnomes that are just so adorable super cute some more maybe stickers down there yeah they're like dimensional stickers they might be like the kind that are like puffed up and then here she has some wood veneer hearts that are colored and some are not and I believe I had seen these at the Dollar Tree or something like that because that's how they come so really really cool thank you so much oh my goodness just lovely so I'm gonna package this back up thanks again Lisa thanks for joining us and I'll be right back Swap from sparkled sass creations who is Jennifer Hertz Schumacher or Schumacher I had a friend shoemaker but it was actually s-h-o-e-m-a-k-e-r and she spells hers s-c-h-u-m-a-c-h-e-r which is more German <laughs> so maybe Schumacher um, so here she has this cute socks again with a little uh, fuzzy gnome, super adorable. Looks like maybe some kind of face uh, mask or something like that, right? Doesn't that look like that kind of thing? Oh, the Reese's Hearts, my goodness, a whole pack of them. And then some eye shades there, so, so you can get some, some good beauty sleep, right? They're <laughs> so cute, a little eye mask. Uh, I'm gonna assume this is for me to open. And this is her first time with us, I believe. So thanks for joining us. Oh, that's so beautiful. You're so kind. You're so kind. <laughs> I love it. Look, it's just some ephemera. She put a little, oh, I love the idea of putting a little fiber back there. It just adds something else. The sweetest little pearls. You guys, so talented. Thank you so much, Jen. I really appreciate it. So she put Jen on there. So I, I'm going to call her Jen now. <laughs> All right, let's put this over here. This is her uh, handmade card. Oh my goodness. So a couple layers of paper. The sweetest little rhinestones here. Look at this guy. Oh, and he's on one of the little uh, wiggly things. I always forget what they're called. But anyway, wobble <laughs> kind of things. The little, um, look at this. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if these are print and cut or they're ephemera, but this on the background, she has it shimmery. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there. So cute. The little um, hill there, and then with love, that's all layered up. Really adorable. And this is her case. So let's open it up, maybe without some glare, huh? Ooh, there's a feather on there. Oh my gosh, I just got a bunch of feathers. That's a cute idea to add feathers like um, we had seen earlier on one of the other swaps there. Uh, so we have the background paper, some rhinestones, little heart keys on a little twine. This stuff is amazing. It looks like jelly like strips. That's really cool. Um, that chipboard kind of sticker from uh, Michael's, which are amazing. Uh, they're so good. Um, doily in the background there and a little fluff, a little feather fluff there for you. So let's open this up and see what Jen put together here. Oh my gosh, super, super, super Valentine, <laughs> so cute. So here she has several uh, wax seals for you guys with the little hearts, and then some are marble, and some are just plain pink or plain white or plain red. Really, really cute. A little banner, you guys, oh my gosh. You guys knocked it out of the park with the little banners, and she did two of them. So cute, love it love it look here she has two that say love this one's more pink and white where this one has a little more kind of brighter colors in it and then some buttons oh my gosh <gasps> that is so cool so they're definitely like ephemera type buttons i mean you can pop this in the middle of a flower you can just use them like this you can put them on a card however it is look at the little papers that she used though how cute are those the chocolates that love hearts 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 the conversation hearts at the bottom there it's super cute I love even just the colors that are here that go to this are just like perfect. And then here she has a little, um, ooh, okay, so like a little shaker mix. There's the words love, and if they're in here, I'm assuming she made them, so it's quite possible she also has that machinery to cut something like that or cast it, because I, it, yeah. <laughs> so cool and here she has a little shaker mix really really fine glitters there's some silver glitter in there I don't know if you can see it there and like pink hexagons really cute and then ooh, what's this are these like the smallest little tags oh my gosh you you're kidding me look at it. she doubled them up <gasps> how cute with the little twine those are adorable and here we have um, some cute like um, acrylic not acrylic they're rubbery feeling I don't know how to explain them like when you have keychains that are made of that rubber stuff, so heart you and things like that. Conversation hearts. There's just some pink um, 
uh, heart spangles there and here she has the little mulberry flowers and the cutest valentine colors <laughs> i like the valentine googly eyes in red and pink because they have not been drinking too much they're just it's love it's red and pink for that reason um here she has her twines oh i love these twines they're from michael's also so she uh, did a sampling of each of the colors because some of them like this one has the pink the fuchsia all mixed together that's fuchsia this one's red and then the pink really cute um some beautiful um felt stickers and here she has some um, pre-made uh, brads, of course, uh, say love and things like that. I can see some that are just like pink. We just have a cute color on them. Uh, pink, white, and red clippies. And then those little stickers, they're so adorable. Hopefully you guys find them. Oh, you know what? These are not the ones from the Dollar Tree. These are slightly different. Look how cute. Oh, I love that. I think the ones from the Dollar Tree just have like um, stars in them. They just have like little clear shaker bits. Um, some gorgeous holographic stickers the heart stickers the um uh like rhinestone shaped hearts and then some smaller ones in the background hope you can see those and then here she has uh one of those um uh femo or polymer clay uh shapes that you can pick up like at michael's they have them just like this and i'm differentiating that because i know with some people i wasn't able to include their um swap to show it because they had a shaker mix in there this is not a shaker mix i know for a fact it came that way <laughs> okay so i have that stuff myself and then here look at these little tassels oh my goodness they are so cute and they feel so fluffy <gasps> like soft oh my gosh i'm not going to touch them anymore because then i might mess them up so there it is <laughs> thank you so much jen thanks for joining us and i'm gonna pack this back up and i'll be right back yeah. moving right along unfortunately i've had three or four that put shaker mixes in with the store-bought items and of course shaker items are store-bought because like we're not making sequins unless you're like die cutting little things but i had said specifically in the video i think it was part three it might have been part two um to not put shaker mixes in with the store-bought things even though yeah you buy them at the store but if you're mixing it and doing your own thing putting your own spin on it it needs to go in the handmade items and i don't know what happened <laughs> people i don't know what happened some people got the memo because i did see other shaker mixes you know in with the handmade things but you guys i said what i said you know so anyway uh this next one is from diane curtis out of finksburg maryland oh and the other thing i had said is not to just cut a bunch of die cut pieces that are just flat like one layer and that happened too so uh you know you want to take time and i know that takes time but what i'm saying is like make it more substantial right so a few more substantial things than a ton of one layer cut things. Diane included this on the top for me. Thank you so much. As you look in here, her swap is very sweet and clean and I can see that they're both in there obviously. So let's open this up and check it out. Oh, you know what? This is a gift, I think. I don't think it's a whole swap. So I will just open this up right quick. Thank you so much, Diane. Oh my gosh, it's the LGS Creative little uh, strawberry set. I forget the name of this set, but I have it. And it is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's her info and her postage. Thank you so much. She included a little um, shaker mix for me. Speaking of shaker mixes, huh? Super gorgeous with the pinks and the golds and the reds. Really, really cute. She included the handmade card for me also. So I'll open this up. That way I don't open up the other one. I'm assuming what she has here is probably what she put in the swap. So really gorgeous, the on the edge die layered up a couple times, different layers here, embossing, there's rhinestones all over, the Happy Valentine's Day, it's super delicate and pretty, and look at this! I love that. I love the way that looks with the hearts and the cute like dangling, but it's uh, glued down there with the little bow, handmade by Diane, just gorgeous. She included like a little ephemera folder for me or something, because I can feel there's lots of things in there, cute belly band on that. Look at these bits, cool stuff, oh my gosh. I'm wondering if she included a lot of things that were in there and here, right? So we have all these um, paper clips and uh, washi samples. And here she has the dies. Oh my gosh, conversation heart dies, some stamps. Here she has like seals that have like hearts. Look at these rosettes. Oh my gosh, Dan, thank you. I love the arrows. Cute rosettes there. Oh my goodness. Some um, wood veneers. Oh, I love these hearts, you guys. I got these at Michael's, and I'm telling you, I almost used them all up because they're so pretty. And then just a ton of different <laughs> die-cut elements in here. <gasps> Diane, those are so cute. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Look at the little truck and his little load of uh, hearts. <laughs> How cute. Okay, thank you so much. Um, she included 
pair of socks for me. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put those on right now because it's getting a little chilly in here. A uh, beautiful little packaging of some uh, rosette. Look at this. Oh, that is so sweet. So basically with those, you can add the, the arrows and you're good to go. No, I did a check to make sure my gift in case fit in the padded return envelope and room for another uh, swap gift. Oh, that's so funny. Thank you. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is like the memo pad holder, but like supercharged. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Dan, thank you. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, a little notebook to jot down all your how-tos for swaps. Thank you so much. I will definitely use this. Oh, that is adorable. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me put some of these, these things to the side and I'll grab her swaps. her swaps. And I'll just kind of peek in here because I have a feeling it's the same things. Yep. Yeah, I showed you earlier, so I'm not going to go through that again, but there it is. And so pretty. Oh, so elegant. Gorgeous, Diane. Thank you. And then again, we went through the card. It's like an A2 size, maybe four by six type card, huh? Um, beautiful trim around the edge here. She has an embossed paper in the background. Look at all this gold shininess, prettiness. <laughs> I mean, I uh, love. Oh, is this from the uh, Diane Press Happy Heart set? I know they had something stylized like that I hadn't used, and that's so pretty. Look at this little guy. <gasps> the little heart and lock. So cute. Gorgeous colors. This gold, maybe possibly tonic um, vellum layered up with that fiery opera red. Oh my gosh. And then the little cherub there, a little angel, a little cupid I guess is the word I'm looking Sorry, for. So we were holding my breath making sure people are following the rules, you know. Um, okay, so what do we have here? So at the top here she has her four handmade items and then her other uh, store-bought bits down here. Very similar to what I showed you guys. We have like layered bows. Maybe you didn't see those in that um, the way she did the folder there. There's some smaller die cuts there, so I'm gonna leave them so I don't hurt them. Um, cute, like, oh my gosh, these must be from Tonic. Different layered up love, and like this cool stylized symbol, the words Valentine, all layered up back there. Look at these little envelopes, oh my gosh, the cutest, with little balloons coming out of them. <laughs> the word love, I mean, this is small work. So cute, look at this guy. <gasps> oh my gosh, just lovely. Some beautiful rosettes, again, topped off with a little heart little center and then here she has um a shaker mix and it has different rhinestones looks like heart shapes again we kind of talked about it earlier and then here she has these like little balloons and i'm assuming they spell love because i can see the different uh lettering there so they each have a letter and then the little string attached there oh my gosh oh how cute the way she topped that off uh, those cool rhinestone type of hearts they're like resin inlaid with glitter and the heart shapes love those some a more kind of a basic rhinestone heart again she shared like the little conversation heart dies with you guys some stamps here we have some um trim with the little hearts and then uh this one here just different uh types of things. I love this kind of stuff. I don't know what it's called, but May Mylar or oh, LeMay. I don't know, something like that. Um, these uh, glitter or colored uh, chipboard, chipboard, wood veneer hearts that are on their own little uh, sticker back stuff. Uh, those cool opalescent and really cool shapes I showed you guys earlier. So like different shapes, pink uh, rhinestones. Here she has some of those cute um, paper clips with like little hearts on them, those seals. And then here she has her washi samples and she just wrapped them around those same kind of like um, heart stickers so you have your sample, right? So very, very pretty. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your gorgeous elegant swap. I'm gonna wrap this right back up and, and I'll be right back. back to the post office, I have one more here in front of me. This is from Jennifer Crabtree out of Blaine, Washington. And her swap looks something like that, nice and protected. And there's one on top that has my name on it. So I'll put this here. Super cute. Just so you kind of have an idea, this is her other swap, one of the other ones. Thanks so much for joining us, Jennifer. Thanks for sending one for me. Really sweet, thank you. And so on top she has her card with, I'm assuming her postage there, look how cute. Oh, just lovely. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Love the way those um, stones just go up to the corner there. And then her swap postage is in there. Thank you so much. And I'll read a note to myself. Oh my gosh. So her gift is this cute scalloped or nesting set of hearts with the little stitching. Those are lovely. Thank you so much. I love that she packaged it the way she did it with the For You. And then there's her, um, her card. It looks like it opens in a fun way. Um, it has all the different um, 
conversation hearts in the background. This guy, it's again, fun fold. This guy kind of opens up like this, I would assume, with the sending love and the rhinestones and the layered up heart with the little fiber there. Ribbon. Oh, I love those envelopes. And then this is her sweet uh, swap here with those cute uh, like enamel layered stickers background paper a little envelope with a little to my happy valentine in there um, chipboard stickers lots of other kind of ephemera type stickers and let's open this guy up so what she has here for us four handmade items again again our shaker mix up here on top um, she has a cute like little tiny um, Again, little balls, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> Super cute, maybe vase filler or something like that. Look at the female that has like conversation hearts, but they're um, polymer clay. Little hearts, some hexagons, some, excuse me, like sprinkle type glitters or females in there. Super cute. And then look at these tags, all dressed up with the little stickers, the little heart, rhinestones and things, just all done differently. Thank you so much. This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. Just layering them up a little something, you know? She has some wax seals. Look at this one with the heart. Oh. So pretty, different colors, very Valentine-y with all the different hearts. And here she has um, these little stamped and cut <laughs> pieces. I love your mug, let's yap soon. They are, um, what's the word, um, heat embossed. Look how cute, part of my pack. And then she has her die cuts that she has colored for you guys. Uh, again, embossed with, you know, heat embossing and colored. Oh my gosh, I love that they came with the sentiments because then you can just put it together and you're good to go. Oh my gosh, that is so smart. Let me put this over this way. I don't want to hurt them, but I don't know how she... <laughs> there we go. Got it. Uh, and mine, she included a Pink Fresh um, uh, ink in bubblegum. Very cute. The XOXO stamp. Oh my gosh, I love it. Wood veneer hearts and different uh, open hearts and uh, solid hearts. Uh, mulberry flowers in like a red and a bright pink. And here she has all these alloy charms, tons of hearts, uh, some are enamel, so pink, pink and white, you know, gold and silver and like bronze colored alloys. Here she has some um, heart beads. These are really cool. They're like faceted heart beads. So pretty. Uh, tons of stickers <laughs> cut down so they can fit in here. Just a ton, a ton, a ton of stickers. And then look at these little bows. Oh my gosh, so cute. The perfect little bows. Again, like little uh, notions, kind of trim things. And over here she has some cool glitter um, striping or like washi, but I think you have to peel the back off of it. Those are a little bit different. I've seen that before. And then in here, it looks like maybe some holographic washi. Or, oh, it's shiny and red. Metallic, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So pretty. Thank you so much for joining us again, Jennifer, and thank you for including one for me. I am going to package this back up and go to the post office, and I'll be right back. Guys, hopefully you have some good luck today. So this one's from Darlisa Langwell. Langwell. Sorry, I thought I said Landwell. Langwell. Out of Midge, Mildville, Georgia. The other day, um, that town specifically was on the news because I guess maybe they had some flooding or I don't know. But I was like, oh, Mildville. That's where Darlisa's from. Because I always remember thinking, is it Mildjaville or Milledgeville. It's spelled M-I-L-L-E-D and then G-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So like Mild, the G is right after the D, you know? So anyway, uh, this little pair of socks is just kind of out here. So we'll see. Oh no. Uh, I hope these are all the same, Darlisa. Because like I said, there's a pair of socks on the outside. Since there's only one, I'm assuming it's for me. And then the card, oh, here's the socks. Are your gift, thank you so much. <laughs> so this is her sweet card, handmade, embossed, cute trim there, a little shaker in the middle, <laughs> really sweet. And then a little extra, thank you so much. The light pink one is for you, okay, see? Thank you for all the info. Um, okay, I was gonna say, they're all light pink, but I think she means maybe the, the case on the inside. Yep, the other ones are red. So I'll put these to the side. Thanks for joining us again, Darlisa. Thank you for including one for me. Now let's open this up. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> Somebody else had included some in their swap, but it was a swap that, you know, there was an extra one for me and I was like bummed because I love these guys. Thank you so much, the peanut butter hearts. Um, that's one of her treats there. And this is her handmade card with a couple different layers of paper, the embossing, we have heart rhinestones, and we have like little rhinestones here. Really sweet. Really, really sweet and clean. Thank you so much. And this is her um, swap here, her case swap. Oh, look at these little guys, they're shakers. 
<laughs> so they're little um, gnome shakers and then like this cool black bow, little heart shaker, the word love and like a wood kind of veneer going on there. Uh, beautiful paper in the background and the little rhinestones. So definitely three or more items on that. And what we have here are her handmade items and then her store-bought items. So for handmade, I thought I hurt my son there. Um, she has these sweet bows, again, very leathery looking with that paper and then little um, heart rhinestones in there. And then it looks like she has little shaker mixes. Thank you so much. She put them up here just like I asked um, with like little sequin dots. It looks like those little dots from um, Tonic, the little white dots that they have and like some clear pinkish glitter. There's something red in there, maybe some red hexagon glitters and she included um, another one well two of them so you have plenty you know because these are little guys so thank you so much and thanks for including one for me Oops, let me get that out of here and then over here she has some die cuts again layered up little red background little envelope that's like silver and like a pearlescent color with a little red heart on top these little cupcakes that are all sweet oh my gosh I love the way the little heart is like tucked in there so cute and then here she has some different embellishment items. We have some uh, beads, really, really pretty in the purple and that crystal kind of color going there. And then she has a little um, a pen attacher. So when we do traveler's notebooks, we would attach our pens this way. So you stick it on and then you can put your pen in this. So she has something like that for you. Uh, some more beautiful beads that are wrapped and ready to go. Very cute. And then here she has some layered up um, bows. Some are, um, stickers and then like layered with like a foam piece and then layered with like another foam kind of topper bit. And those are her handmade altered items there. And then down here she has some beautiful, oh look at this, ribbon. That is so cool. It's like ribbon with another ribbon like running through it. And then this uh, beautiful one with the arrows and the little hearts. Here she has some um, heart stickers and like heart rhinestones and here are some heart shaped uh, brads these are going to be really handy I love it thank you so much lots of beautiful heart shaped clippies how cute are those here she has some of those little white trim like bows or you know they're off white and white I think really cute there's some metal charms in there too like heart charms like heart enamel charms and then here she has some little jet puff stickers super cute all cut up so that they fit in here she has the conversation hearts love too cute hug me all kinds of cute things there uh, rhinestone hearts and here there's a mix of red white, uh, clear and pink uh, rhinestones and lots of them so lots of things we can use those for heart you know flower centers just a little added here and there i love it wood veneers again from hobby lobby just so lovely my goodness thank you so much Arlisa thanks for joining us again and thank you for including one for me I'm gonna wrap it back up and I'll be right back Next up, I have a swap from Natasha Griffin out of Grand Prairie Texas and around top it says VNA both swap postage fees are in here oh look at this gorgeous oh my gosh I don't know if that's just an embellishment item or if that's part of her card um, so I'm having a sneak peek of her clipboard swap you guys oh my gosh well I guess if I'm having one you can have one too look at oh it's so cute okay so let's put that back <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Let me get her swap out for this. Thanks for joining us again, Natasha. So cute. I'll put the postage back. And thank you for that beautiful card. Okay, so in here is one that's very much the same. So I'm going to just put it to the side. Okay, guys? Oh my gosh. So cute. I'm just looking at that. Those glimpses of the, clip, the clipboard. It's super cute. Oh my gosh. So... This is her swap, so we'll come back to that in just a minute. But as you can see, lots going on. Look at the, oh my gosh, love bug and the bug over here. So beautiful uh, glittery paper. She has this topper piece. The love bug is, um, you know, has a background piece to it with the lettering, with the glitter. The little um, ladybug as that part there all layered up. She even has a little bow in her hair or in her antenna, I guess. <laughs> and then the little um, hearts that are also um, like shadow layered. Really super cute. My goodness. This is her treat here. So let's see, she has a fuzzy pair of socks with hearts all over it. The hot cold eye. Oh, they have them in gold. See, I saw them in pink. These are so cute. So for your eyes there, I'm telling you, we need them girls. <laughs> Sometimes don't we? A little M&Ms. And then a whole roll of that cool um, ribbon. Sorry, it kind of came attached, detached there. And then there's something else in here, a little info about her. So there's that sweet, sweet bag there. 
And then here she has, I mean, look at how cute. I love with the blue, how she coordinated the little blue car. The true love, the different conversation hearts, love bug, all like thick. And I think she layered it up. So she cut that a few times and layered it. My goodness. The little trim, the resin pieces. I mean, this gorgeous uh, die cut back here. And it's a shaker on top of that. Oh my gosh, so much going on. Little layered flower. Just adorable. So let's see what we have here. So again, handmade items and then her store bought items. Handmade items, super cute. Look at this bow. How delicate and lovely in the center has like a little um, uh, felt heart. And then here you can see this little layered up gnome. I'm gonna try to not mess with it. So it's a really cool paper she uses. It's almost like plasticky looking, you see that? And then the little background and the back, it looks like we have the word love all stylized and layered up. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. She has a shaker mix. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, it's funny because Miranda, every year she gets the slime guys that are in here. So basically people pie, pie them. They buy these or they buy like the bubble wand ones just to get rid of the stuff that's inside of it and then use the case. So she has the heart with the little eyeballs and she has a shaker mix in here. Look at these beautiful red and um, sequins, large kind of like iridescent or holographic sequins. I guess iridescent is the word I'm looking for. Uh, pink hearts. There's like little Fimo hearts. There's ladybugs in there. Again, that love bug running all through everything. Love it. Thank you so much. Well curated is what I love. Oh, I'm going to try to put this back in. There we go. Um, and then here she has, oh my gosh, little balloon bouquets. How cute is that? Look at the twine on that. And they're stuck together so they're ready to go. <gasps> Natasha, that's so cute in several of those. And then here, look at these layered up flowers. All rolled and layered for you guys with the cute centers. And there is a ton of layers. <laughs> several of them. Really lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. And then here she has uh, little bows. I love that grow grain ribbon on that one. Um, little white and red satin bows. And then there's like pink and red grow grain bows. She has stickers. She has her washi on a little sample there for you guys. Um, a whole lot of just the uh, pink hearts and the female hearts that you can put in your mixes yourself. Again, girl, this is exactly... <laughs> Well, anyway, I was going to talk about it later because I've seen so many where people put the shaker mixes down here. Um, she has the hearts, rhinestones. Oh, some enamel dots that are really lovely. Oh, I love those colors. Um, and then she put some pink heart sequins in here, too. So you want to make your mix? You know, you can do it yourself, but she didn't do it for you because it's, you know, it's what coordinates with your product or product project. <laughs> and here she has a beautiful different um, rhinestones, a flat background. Oh, I love these kind that look like milky. Beautiful teal and pinks and, you know, just all kinds of beautiful Valentine colors that just coordinate with everything she has going on here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's like a little puffy um, packaging heart. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, ribbons are in here with like, all oh, the conversation hearts on that ribbon are adorable. Resin pieces, these are like beautiful bows. Oh my gosh, to finish off your Valentine gifts. Um, cute little uh, felt hearts. There's um, glittery stickers. There's some of those uh, conversation hearts, handmade with love type things. Um, these beads are like little candy beads and hearts and all kinds of cute things that are very sweet and pop really, really cute. And then here we have those resin flowers. Ooh, look at these. It has like, oh, <gasps> that iridescence on the tips. Wow, is it going through the whole thing? That is so crazy. That really messes with my eyes like in a way that's like amazing because it looks like on the tip, but if you keep moving it, it goes all the way through. <gasps> so pretty. And so several of those kind of different things in here. My goodness, Natasha, thank you so much. I think this is where I'm going to end it today, guys, because I think that's a good amount for this first part. Uh, I honestly don't know because I have to edit out so many other pieces that I'm not going to show, so it might be shorter than I think. But I have been here for a couple hours, you know, just putting things together. So, um... Yeah, I think this is where we'll end it. So thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, everything, guys. Uh, again, I will swap out the rule breakers, but this is basically the last time because I didn't really say, like, hard and fast, I'm not going to do it. Even though it is in the guidelines, it says I'm not swapping out rule breakers, but it was when I was still a little bit wishy-washy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just not showing him. I'll still swap them, but going forward with the loaded pocket, the new loaded pocket, the... Um, Valentine one, I am not swapping them if they are rule breaking, okay? Not showing and not swapping, so anyway. All right, guys, uh, I'll see you at part two. There'll probably only be two parts. There was only like 30 people that signed up to begin with. Some people dropped out, and then some people I'm not going to show, so not too many. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.